Hello all. Welcome to Raj Informatica. This is Raj. Please subscribe my channel. You can search in YouTube Raj Informatica. You will get this channel. Please subscribe my channel. Please subscribe my channel and please like my videos and you can see Informatica Cloud Informatica Power Center Oracle Unix related videos in my channel. There are many useful videos are there. You can watch them. So today I am going to discuss today. I am going to discuss about how to install Informatica IACS secure agent in your laptop. Not only in Informatica IACS secure agent. Also, I am also I am showing you how to create a trial account, how to create a trial, how to create a trial account of Informatica cloud that is Informatica IACS. Okay. First, what you have to do? You have to create a Gmail ID. One Gmail ID, they will give access for one month. So first you create a Gmail ID and login. So I created a Gmail ID and I logged into my Gmail. Now what I have to do? Go to Google, search with Informatica, Informatica cloud trial informatica cloud trial so you will see choose your cloud platform trial or free 30 days you can you can you can check check this or i will give a link to you you can directly copy this link either you can click on free 30 days trial cloud data integration or just copy this link so both are same it will show you sign up give your first name last name Give your first name. I am giving Raj Infa, my first name. Job title developer. Work email, your Gmail ID. So I am giving my Gmail ID as rajinformatica at gmail.com. Okay, use my username as email ID. Okay, done. Next, phone number. You can give any number. I am giving 1234567890. Organization name. You can give any name. Select country, India, select country, India, state, Karnataka, city, Bangalore, you, are, you can give your city and your postal code, 560100, data center location, Asia specific, we are in Asia, Asia specific, click on these two, start free trial, click on start free trial, once you click on start free trial, it will create your account. So look for an email. You can close this. Look for an email that provides your login information and get started ready with number one cloud integration platform. Go to your email. Click on your inbox. You could have got one email from Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. Just click on you will get username, URL. Click on verify me now. Once you click on verify me, it will ask a new password. So I am giving the, please remember the password. I am giving the password called info admin. I am giving the password info at admin, I N A capital. You cannot give just admin. There should be some password policies. Give info at admin, confirm info at admin. Choose any option. I am choosing first option or choose any option. I am giving security answer. Give any security answer. But remember it. Give any security answer. But remember it, please. Whatever you give, you should remember. Click on submit. Once you click on submit, it will change your password. It will change your password and it will show directly this. Now you can click on don't show this again. Don't show this again. Now in IACS, there are many many applications available we have api manager api portal there are many but now we require data integration you can click on data integration it will show this window now suppose if you close this window how to open i will show you again if you close this window suppose you logged out suppose you did you logged out i logged out once you logged out what you have to do so what you'll do 
I'll just close the, all these things. See here, you please copy paste in your in and store somewhere in the email. They have given username, login URL. So put it somewhere. Username and your password. This is your password. You should remember your password. Otherwise, you cannot log in. This is your password. Password is and login URL. So if you want to log into Raj, if you want to log, if you want to log into Informatica Cloud, copy this. I'll give this URL to you. In the description, so go to new window, or better always go to incognito mode. Incognito mode will be faster for Informatica. Click on these three dots, incognito mode, put it and hit enter. Now it will ask username password. So copy your email ID as username, put it here, and your password without spaces. You have to copy. Login. Once you log in, you will get it like this. So now our our interest is on administrator. Click on administrator. Once you click on administrator, what you have to do? You have to download the secure agent first. It's a very small software. You have to download the you have to download the secure agent. How to download secure agent? Click on the run your environment. Click on the run your environment. Here, download secure agent. Are you seeing download secure agent? Click on download secure agent. Once you click on download secure agent, it is asking platform Windows or Linux. So ours is Windows. I am selecting Windows, and your install token should be copied and stored somewhere. Install token is very important. You should. You should what you have to do? You should copy your install token, and you should copy your install token. And what you have to do? And and you have to save somewhere, paste somewhere, and now click on download. Once you click on download, a secure agent with one thirty one MB is install is will install within very very short time. 130 MB, just 130 MB software. By using this 130 MB software, we can run Informatica Cloud. So now my secure agent is installed. Once it is installed, what I have to do? Go to your downloads. Go to your downloads. Now secure agent is installed. Right click on it. Run as administrator. Right click on it. Run as administrator. Now click on S. Once you click on S, yes, it will install anywhere. Preparing to install, it will show. It is trying to install secure agent of Informatica Cloud. So you have to install Informatica Cloud. So now Informatica Cloud is being installed. So it will give like this. Now it is installing in C programs Informatica Cloud secure agent. You should have at least 50 GB. At least 50 GB space in your wherever you install. At least 30 to 50 GB space we should require in the hard disk. I have almost 380 GB free. So now let it be the same. Okay, let it be the same. Click on next. Click on install. Once you click on install, it will what it will do? It will install the cloud secure agent. And it will take it will take some time, very less time it will take. It will it will take very less time, and it is asking username install token. So go to your notepad. We have already have the username Raj Informatica at gmail dot com Raj Informatica one at gmail dot com. So take the username install token. Take this install token, okay, and put it here. If you don't have these two, you cannot install. Register. Click on register. Once you click on register, so it will register, and secure agent will start up. Secure agent will start up. So now minimize this window. Minimize this window. Refresh your IACS window. When you refresh your IACS window, now you will be getting like this. Please check. 
so just wait until it open it will open it will open now this is your laptop name so this is your laptop name and status so click on this arrow mark and click on your laptop name this is your secure agent name click on your laptop name now here there are five services are there data integration server mass integration mass injection common integration components odi odi oi data collector and process server our area of concentration is common integration components so wait till this starting up it will take so now it is 627 i will tell you once i will tell you when it will complete you have to wait with patience if you want so these are starting up here you can click on refresh status all should be in running status so it will take some time if you go to your c drive if you go to your c drive c drive program files under program files c drive go to program files here you will be informatica cloud secure agent right click on it properties this window will increase the files will download the files will download so wait till all the services are up wait till all the services are up see this is up wait some more time the other data integration server mass injection mass injection okay yes please oda data collector process server yes please wait for these things you can refresh and check the status so let's wait let's wait for some time it will take some time so please wait for some time meanwhile meanwhile as i told you so i am raj informat i am i am raj from bangalore so this is my informatica raj informatica channel actually i'll be giving training on i'll be giving training on i am having almost 12 years experience into informatica power center iss etc i'll be giving training on power center informatica power center and also iss if you want to join my training please call to 8105296858 will give a best real time job based training to you so you please subscribe my channel and like my videos and comment on it if you like them so these are all my videos there are many useful videos available in my channel so please go through them and watch them okay now let's wait till let's wait till this you can refresh you can refresh this window now two two are up now if you see the if you see the folder program files informatica cloud security agent so the size will increase the size will increase if you see the secure agent the size will increase see it was 2 it was 1.5 gb it is 2.37 gb so please wait till this please wait till all the services are up okay at least we require data integration server common integration components these two should be up at least these three it may take time so let's wait until it up so just wait just wait until it up so we'll wait for some time yes these four services are running so it will take some time to up this one also you can refresh the status so that is fine now we can test our connection so in iss we have many applications the first application we should do is in administrator we should create a connection we should we should create a connection to oracle in oracle i have a table called students i should import this i should take i should see the students table in i should see the students table in iss how to see first you need to create a connection to test whether your iss is working or not if you want to test go to connections go to connections new connection new connection in the new connection the connection name will be in the new connection the connection name will be any name you can give i am giving rel i am giving rel oracle connection okay or you can give 
anything like this conn connection oracle connection oracle type in the type select oracle now run environment you should select your laptop name next oracle subtype on premise username so from where you will get the username passwords you can go to oracle right click on your otsrc dev schema properties this is your username copy the username here password you copy the password you give the password as admin whatever the password you give here the same password you should give host host is local host host is local host code page you can select utf or windows latin anything okay so we have given sorry we have given host as local host port as 1521 service name is exe this one everything is here exe and test connection test connection once you click on test connection it should appear the test of for this connection was successful if this is successful that means that that means that your informatica your informatica iscs is successfully installed so you can click on save you can click on save now you are ready to do the mapping so in my next video i will show you in my next video i will show you how to create a mapping in informatica iscs as of now this is how you have to create you have to you have to create a trial account in iscs and also how to and also how to download the secure agent and also what are the services you should check and also how to create a connection okay this is how you can create a connection and save okay if you go to connections the connection will be saved so while doing the mapping we can pull the data from oracle and we can load the data to any other database we can do it this is how it will be so this is all about so please first install informatica then install secure agent so that you can easily test okay so as i told you you should not touch the secure agent you can minimize it or you can close also not a problem it will close okay and one more thing suppose if you logged out suppose you logged out okay and if you give the id password it is not logging in if you give the id password it is not logging in that means your services might not up so you should go to services we should search services under services we have a service called informatica intelligent cloud services informatica cloud secure agent it should be in running status if it is in running status then your informatica you can log in with informatica so you can take your informatica username this is your informatica username so this is your informatica username okay take open any browser and give the informatica username and the password you can give it and click on login once you click on login so your windows will open here you can first click on administrator and you can click you can create a connection this is how you need to create a you need to create informatica as a secure agent and also you can you can create a oracle connection you can create like this thanks for watching my video i hope everyone liked my video thanks for watching my video please subscribe my channel raj informatica please subscribe my channel raj informatica and please like my videos and watch my videos to get the latest updates please subscribe my channel thank you all thanks for watching thank you